Welcome back. In the last video, we have talked about how to use DayUnit and why do we need Mockito. In this video, let's try to implement Mockito. But then again, let's go back and let's recap what we have done. So if you can see, we have a class called as calculator. And of course, this calculator will add two numbers. Normally, what we can do is if you get these two numbers, we can simply perform addition operation here, right? We can say i plus j. But let's say this is a complex operation. Normally, what we do is uh, when you work with, uh, I mean, when you work with an application, it may require that that application will interact with something else. Maybe if, if you're using a mobile application, in your mobile application, you want to add two numbers, but then you might be using a cloud service. You are asking a cloud service to add those two numbers. Now, of course, for calculator, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But then imagine if you have some complex operation. Of course, you need a cloud service, right? Now, there's not just for cloud service, maybe for uh, database operation. So let's say we have, uh, we have a calculator service who will provide the service for me. And the way I was testing it, I was using JUnit for testing. And in the before, I have done with the setup of creating calculator object. And in, we have a method which is test add, which will test it, right? We, we have used assert equals. Now, what I want to do here is, uh, if, if I look at this calculator service, this is a simple interface, right? Now, what I will do is I want to, so instead of going for add, let's go for another method which is called perform, just to uh, get that feeling of having some cloud service. So let's say, whenever I create object of calculator, and if I say perform by passing two values, let's say two and three, the output I'm expecting is, example, if I pass two and three, the output I'm expecting is the addition of those, these two numbers, which is five into the first number. So addition of these two numbers, which is i plus j and okay, i plus j and multiplied by two, just to have that some operation, right? You can go for any operation, doesn't matter. This, this is my operation here. So I want to add these two numbers and then multiply by two. Now what I'm expecting is the addition will be done by some cloud service, maybe some database, maybe something from somewhere else, maybe some API calls, it doesn't matter. And once I get the addition, I just want to multiply it by 2, right? So whatever, not 2 exactly, but i. So whatever value I pass, maybe if I pass 2 and 3, it will multiply that by, it will add those two, those two numbers. And whatever result I get, I will multiply it by i. That's what I want to do. Now, of course, if you want to make it work, you have to implement this uh, calculator service and you can make it work, right? We'll see that later. The main idea here is, I want to call this perform. I just want to test if the perform operation works or not. Example, if I pass two and three, the output I'm expecting is 10, right? Because two, oh, what's that? Not that, not that, okay, 10. So when I say two and three, it means two plus three is five and five into two is 10, right? So when I say perform, uh, it will check for 10. Now question is, will it work? Let's try. Now, if I want to test this application, and if I right click here, if I say run as JUnit, uh, you can see we got some error and what that error is. It says calculator, okay, something failed. You can see there's no error message as such. So what went wrong? Now, normally when you when your test fails, it will show you that, you know, because of some problem, it failed. But I feel the problem is, Okay, the problem is we have not created this object and we are performing an operation here. Is it possible to perform this operation? Of course not, right? Because in order to make this work, I want an object of service, right? In Java, we believe in this concept that we have to create an object before using it. And we have not created the object yet. How do we do that? How can we create object of calculator service? So what we have an option as, uh, we we have we actually have to call the uh, cloud service, but then for testing it doesn't make sense, right? So normally what we do is we create a stub. Now what is stub? Stub is basically a fake object. Now when I say fake object, what it means for testing, we have to create a fake object of calculator service. Now to just to make it more effective, I will say I will get the object of service using a constructor. So I will say calculator and here I will get the object of calculator service. I will name this as service itself. So whoever creates the object of serve, uh, I mean object of calculator, he will provide me the 
uh, object of service or backends. So what happens is, if you're actually using a cloud service, you will be getting object of this from somewhere else. But now I want to work with this calculator. So of course I have to pass an object of calculator service. So I will say calculator service and I will say service because that's a dependency, right? Because you cannot get object of calculator without calculator service. So I will say new calculator service. And of course this is not possible now because I mean, you have to define this object by yourself. This is a stuff, right? You are creating a fake object. Okay, you're creating a fake service. So it doesn't matter what you do. If you're saying I plus J, it doesn't matter what you pass, it will return zero. This is a fake service. Again, I have not uh, typed this code. I will I simply say the control space, it has given me anonymous inner class, right? But then question arise, why? Okay, once you got that, you can simply pass this service here. Your job will be done. Okay, you can say this is a dummy object now because this is not actually doing anything, right? It is simply uh, performing this operation. At least the code will run, the test will run, test will pass or fail, that's a different thing, right? Let's run this once again now. So if I say run, run as JUnit test, you can say this time the test was running, but it failed because of, because of the value. Of course, right? You are adding these two values and you're returning zero. So that zero into, into two will be zero, right? So it says expected 10, but it was zero. At least the test run, right? But the, uh, the answer you got is wrong. So this is how you create a stub, a fake object. So sometime when you want to test a uh, uh, unit, you have to create a fake object of some other class which are dependent. This is one way. The another way of doing it is actually by using some framework. Now, one of the framework we can we can use here is Mockito. Again, we have discussed about that, right? So how can we do that with the help of Mockito framework? Now, in order to use Mockito, again, there are lots of advantages. Again, we'll see that advantages in this video. But then before using Mockito, you have to make sure that you are adding a dependency for Mockito. How do we get the dep dependency? It's very simple. Just go to Maven repository, which is MVN repository and search for Mockito. And it will give you the first link, Mockito code. Click on that. You can take any version. Uh, let me go with the safe one, which is 2.8.9. I hope it will work. And I will copy this. Oh, okay, is it copied? Yeah, it is copied. And let's paste it here. Now, once you do that, you can see in your Maven dependencies, it will add the Mockito dependency as well. And you can see we got Mockito dependency. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Let's go back here. Now, how can you create an object of Kagoto service? Now, what if I say Mockito will give you this object? Now, first of all, Kagoto service is the interface. And Mockito says, hey, don't worry. You can simply use a static method called as mock. So mock is a method belongs to Mockito class. And you just have to pass a, a type, which is calculator here. So calculator service dot class. Once you mention that, it will give you the object. Can you see that? It, it, there's no error here. It's so simple, right? You simply pass the service now and it will be done. Uh, you don't have to create a stub now. You simply created the reference and simply said, hey, Mockito, give me the object. Now, if I say right click run as JUnit test, again, the test is running, right? Test is running. It, it is giving you fail, of course, because you have not written the logic, right? Uh, because you don't have to test. Now, if you're thinking, uh, do we are only testing Kagoda, we are not testing Kagoda service, who will test this? Uh, as I mentioned, this will be a cloud service. So whoever providing with the cloud service, he, I mean, they are, it is their responsibility to test this cloud service. It's not our responsibility, right? But we have to imagine that it, it works. Now, question arises: how can I make it work? Let's say I will, I will inform my Mockito framework that, hey, Mockito, you are doing a great job here. So you are creating a fake object here and it's working for me. But I also want to pass my test, right? You can see we have a green line here. How can you make sure that your Mockito understand that when you are calling this perform by passing two and three, uh, it will be calling, it will be calling this method which is add. And I want the answer for this because if I don't get the answer for this, how can I test the application, right? And uh, okay, so how can we do that? So what option Mockito provides is, or Mockito says, okay, you want to make this test pass, right? With some values, you can do that. I will provide you an option of when. 
So in when you can mention whenever you call service dot add method by passing two and three, this will give you. So it will say then return. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Oh, so yeah, right. when you use this when, this is again a static method. So what I will do is I will simply say I will, I will use a static import here. Okay. Uh, you can go for static import or you can define everything by uh, or you can import everything by yourself but then let's use static import i will say marketer dot marketer dot star so i will say i will import all the static classes so that i don't have to mention every time in fact if you import statically you don't have to mention marketer as well you can simply say mock and you can see the when is working now so i will say then return so when you when you add two numbers when you say two comma three it will return five uh, you might be thinking we are hard coding it and that's fine right anyway we know that this service which is a cloud service when you pass 2 and 3 it will return 5 i mean we don't have to doubt on that right we the only thing we have to check we have to check is this perform as a user or as a developer you are writing perform here the testing method is this one perform not the add one and with that i have to change this name as well it's not it's not compulsory but then it makes sense right so tell we are testing perform okay now what we will do is every time it calls this service by passing two and three it will make sure that it will give you five so this this will give you five so that when you say five into two it will give you ten so now we are actually testing perform we are not testing add service and that's the that's the amazing part of Mokito. Uh, and you can see we are performing a J operation and it failed. Oh, what something went wrong. Let's verify what went wrong. Um, okay, this is a bit tricky now. I don't know what went wrong. Let me verify once. Uh, I've said was service add uh, by passing two values. It should return a five. And then I'm performing this operation. I'm saying mock. I go to service. Okay, let me try this once again. I don't know what went wrong. Let's do this once again. Oh, it worked. Oh, I don't know what went wrong. It, there was some issue with the uh, imports. So I just simply said Control Shift O and it, it has done all the arrangement for the imports. And you can see that now it is working. Your test is passing, right? Again, my intention here was not to test add because that is a cloud service or maybe some other service. My intention was to test the perform. But in order to test perform, I was supposed to give some values for this add because this is some external service right and this is how market to works now there is one more thing how can we verify example it may happen that uh, you are simply hard coding it it may happen right uh, you are writing a big logic and in your code you're not even calling a service method you are writing this logic by yourself i mean it may happen right now how can you check if your application is actually calling the mock service i mean how do you know that this uh, your application is actually calling a mock service you are writing this right because if i if i run this application everything works fine uh, okay so i have made a mistake in the logic is it oh i multiplied by two it should be i and oh this should be plus yeah so i'm, I'm hard coding it right and I'm not using that service. So if let me just run this once again, I will say run as uh, run as J unit. And as you can see, the test is passing. And I'm not even using the service method. I'm not use, using the mock service. Now, how can you make sure that is mock service is actually getting used? Uh, so Mockito provides you one more thing for that. What we can do is in your test calculator, after performing your uh, assert all those things, you can actually verify if your mock service was actually called. So I will say verify. In this verify, okay, we have to again static import this one. So I will say copy, paste, and this is verify. So all this method actually starting methods for Mockito. So I will say verify, and here I will say verify. And in this verify, I can actually pass an object. I will say service dot add, and we just have to pass two and three. Now what it will do is it will check are you actually calling this service actually using this service which I, I mean are you calling the mock service let's try now now if i run this application of course your test will pass but something will fail and that is it says um okay i made a mistake here again 
Uh, I don't think so. Uh, oh, I made a mistake. It should be bracket. Is it the case? Yeah. So yeah. So verify. So service. We are calling the add method. So we'll say run as unit test. Okay. As you can see, the test failed, but not with because of the values. The test failed because you said wanted, but not invoked. It be, it because in your in your code you are not actually using the service. So this is how you can actually verify, and this is not possible with stub. Okay. So when you are implementing your own stub, when you are not using Mockito, it is difficult to check if you are actually calling the mock service or the stub service and that's the beauty about Mockito. okay you can see that test is passing now right so it's so simple to use Mockito. we just have to add this dependency and uh, we just have to get a mock service using this mock method you can pass the uh, type which of which you want an object or the instance a fake instance you can say and you can you can assign the value so when when you are calling add by passing two and three it should return 5 so that the method which you are testing will use that value. Again, let me repeat here we are not testing add method, we are testing perform, and that's why we are giving static values to this one. It may be confusing at the start. I would recommend you to type this example by yourself, try it on your own machine, then you will get the true power of Mockito. Okay, I, I hope it was comfortable to understand all these things. So let me repeat. So when you are saying when it, you're calling this, it will return 5. And you can actually verify if it is calling, you're actually using your mock service. So there's one more thing. Uh, so this is how you can get the ob object of mock, right? There's one more way. You can, you can skip this part, right? And you can simply write at mock, right? So you can just, whenever you want an object, you can simply write mock. Uh, if you have 10 mock services, you can do that. If you have 15 mock service, 20 mock service, just mention the type and add the date mock. It will be done. And if you run this, oh, something went wrong. It says your null point exception, right? Uh, because when you use annotation, we just have to use, uh, because say Mockito is a different framework and we are using that in JUnit, right? So to mention that, we have to specify a rule Again, this is not compulsory, okay? You can simply use that mock method. But in case if you are looking for annotation, this is how you do it. So we'll say Mockito rule. Uh, it's a inbuilt thing. So it's a Mockito rule, rule equal to, uh, since we are using JUnit here, so I will say Mockito, uh, Mockito JUnit dot rule. So that you will mention that I'm using JUnit and Mockito together. So that's a rule and that's it. You just have to mention this. And now it will create all the mock service for you. This is another way, right? And you can see your test pass now. So that's how you do testing with JUnit and Mockito. Again, this, this is the simplest example you can go for. In normal scenario, in uh, actual environment, you'll be having some complex example. Uh, you stick with the basics, everything will remain same, right? So let me repeat, using JUnit, we are testing individual modules. But sometimes those individual modules are dependent on some other service, which you know that perfectly working, right? So in this scenario, I wanted to test perform, but perform is dependent upon add, which is running perfectly. And that's where we can use Mockito. So I hope you enjoyed this session. If you have any query, let me know in the, uh, in the comment section. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.